Hey guys, so as you saw, we did some um, driving today. I sold two of the um, Cuckoo Moran's hens. I still have the rooster Phillip. Um, I'm hoping that I can find a really good home for him. Um, preferably not for free because he's a really good rooster. He is the nicest rooster that I have, except for Binkers, the meat chicken, and he only loves me because he's hungry um, in his head because he's not really hungry. Um, there he is right there. So, my husband let Bingers out last night. He is just the funniest, quirkiest little rooster. Well, not little, he's huge. But, um, we decided that he needed some exercise. And he is trying to get into everything. All of our, um, birds, except for, um, Azul, Ruru, and the turkeys um, are in the fence, so um, we don't do a lot of feeding outside the fence anymore. This little chicky got out. You don't have to come in here. Come in here. This one always gets out. Go back in there, Violet. Go on. Okay, so. I don't know who moved this board, but this is where it's getting out at. And it's the only one that can really fit in there. Will fit out of there. I'm gonna put this board right here. I can get out from all the way under here. Maybe. That's a little better. I don't know. That might work. Because I've done it before and he still is getting out. Anyways, so he's not really able to get a whole lot of food. Their turkeys will, you know, um, defend themselves when it comes to him eating their food. There's still corn, corn here. He's not hungry, so he's not really eating it. Um, I mean, he's pecking around at it, but he, he could eat all this, but he's not hungry. Um, 
So, poor Philip is in here without his ladies. Hey, Philip. But uh, I, I kind of, I was on the fence about selling them. I really wanted to sell them, but um, I, I get attached to my animals, so it was kind of a. Um, let's sit up here and see if this holds me. You know, it's kind of dirty, but it was kind of a hard decision. Um, most of y'all have probably seen the video where I did the face mask. That was last night. Um. My face is really smooth. It was a bit red this morning. Um, but that I did much else, I'm not really sure. So, I sold the cucumberans this morning, and I was kind of iffy about selling them. Um, and then I wanted to get $30 a piece for them, but um, a lady messaged me Saturday. Um, she asked me to call her, so I called her. And when I did, I found out that she is in her 70s. Her husband has dementia. Um, and she loves her chickens. She has three roosters already, so she was just looking for some hens to add to her um, flock. So, Raphael's walking past Binkers, and Binkers is running out to him, and he's scared of the rooster. What are you doing? Who dropped that? Yes? Well, go inside, get some tissue, because we don't have any more napkins, and wipe the, the, the container off and put it back. Dump it, dump it somewhere for the chickens. Dump it in there. He dropped the um the yogurt container and it cracked. Yeah, just dump it in there. They'll like it. Come on, chick, 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 chick. It has good bi um bacteria in there. So. That's what happened this morning. I didn't want to sell them for any less than $30 each, but this older lady messaged me and I just felt like I should sell them to her for cheaper. Um, so I'm currently trying to breed um, Betsy, Red Doe, and these two are over here. That's Mr. Buns. Hi, Mr. Buns. And, of course, Vanellope is over there. I'm not seeing anything happen between them two. Um, I did bring the buck to the doe's cage. You should never do that. I'm standing here, and I'm watching them. Um, well, I stood here for a while earlier, and then I walked off, but I am over here watching them. Now, look at this rooster. He follows you all over because he thinks he's got something. Where are your shoes at? Go inside and put your shoes on now. So this is my cilantro. Here's my spinach. It looks like there's one spinach coming up right there. Don't leave in there. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Just one. Here is my Swiss chard. And I saw one earlier. Let me see where it was. Can I help you? There it is, right there. I think that's a Swiss shot. I'm not really sure. Um, it's, I haven't grown this before, so um, when things come up, I'm not going to know exactly what they are until like all of them start coming up. And but you are helping me. We're just looking. So, I'm excited to see some a few green things popping up. I have ants in here. I'll get my 
Cinnamon. I got my cinnamon still right here. No, it's kale, baby. The kale takes longer. Yeah, there's ants. Kale takes longer to um to come up than anything else. It's, it's, it's cinnamon for the ants. Yeah. I have another bottle um, in the house. So, But kale does take like two weeks to come up. So I don't expect to see any kale come up yet. But I'm really excited to see that there is one little spinach right there. So... It's doing good. Won't be much longer. We'll have lots of greens growing. Binkers is back in his cage over there because he pecked me twice in the back of my knee whenever I was feeding the quail this morning. And um, I'm not going to tolerate any chicken pecking me. So, the frost has not damaged too bad my roses. So pretty. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, y'all have a blessed day. Y'all be good. Bye.